Hello everybody and welcome to the first video in my 30 day video challenge. In this video I'm just making a simple treasure box and I'm using Krita to do my sketch work. I decided to sketch all my 3D projects just to give me practice. I'm just now learning to draw and I really need the extra practice. So in here I'm doing a lot of the undo. You'll see me <laughs> back up quite a bit. But I get to work out a bunch of my ideas. I get to work out how lines look, how different shadings look and different processes. It's just quick, simple. And I try and just work out different ideas in my head as I as I go through. I, I ended up not being real happy with the lock that I was drawing on the front of it. I, it just looked weird and out of place. I use Blender for my 3D projects. Uh, in here I just started with a simple cube and then a cylinder for the lid. End up cutting the cylinder in half so that it would actually make the lid lay directly on top of the box. I use the, the knife tool here to cut the ends and then the uh, the loop cut tool to put two loops in the top and then the bevel to actually make my, my selections there. I use the inset tool and then the control key will actually allow you to push your geometry down into whatever you're working on. I do that a lot on the box and I, I do this with the shift R function as well which will just repeat the last step I did so as I inset one side I can click on the other side shift R and it just repeats the last thing I did I'm just fiddling around with the sizes I needed space for the lock at this point so I was trying to get the faces to give me enough space for a lock to fit and then I started messing around with the loop slide tool or edge slide tool and it wasn't quite working out for me at first and then I, I just figured out I was messing with the wrong edge I started out trying to make a more complicated lock I wanted it to look a little more fancy I ended up not liking the way it looked and I, and I couldn't get the bevels and things to turn out the way I wanted to and then I ended up thinking that maybe the lock looked a little too fancy for the box itself considering the box wasn't overly complicated anyway the lock would have been like the most sophisticated piece on the whole project. I ended up just deleting it and going with a simple cube. I ended up splitting it in half and then just pushing the top back to fit onto the box and then just lining everything up the way I liked it. I think it gave it a nice little look. Super simple. And then I needed some rivets on the end. These were kind of like a thought toward the end. I'm like, I needed a little bit extra. So I like the rivets. I think they turned out pretty good. I just used a UV sphere and then just duplicated it and moved it along to make sure everything fit in the right spot. Grabbed all four, duplicated, grabbed all eight, then duplicated them and pushed them to the end. That's it. Done. Ready to fill with coin. If you liked this kind of video, please let me know. The voiceover was easier for me to do than to try and talk while I was working. Um, if you'd like to hear me actually talk while I work, let me know and I'll try and start working that out. I just When I focus, I don't really talk a whole lot, so it's going to take me some practice to get used to. Uh, please leave a like button if you did like this video. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. And um, look forward to my next video. 30 days, one today, one tomorrow to the end of the month. Have a good